What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Kyla Bay, and I got my red notebook, so you know what time it is. As it says, we're checking out Stacy Statum's, their Statum EP. Yeah? So let's get to this intro so we can talk about it. All right, so as I said... Today I'm giving you the review for the EP by Stacy, and the EP is called Statum. And so let's get into it anyway. So the first song that we open up with is the one and only A Sap. Okay. A Sap to me is very, it's a very cute song. It's very popish. It has elements of hip-hop. This song is very, it's very K-pop. K-pop definitely for me mixes genres and that's what this song is this song is all about your better half coming into your life so like how the twitter girls be like i pray that my husband is doing this or i pray for my husband every night to come into my life the man of my dreams that's asap <laughs> that's asap one said like hey you know, you know better half of me, and I need you to come and realize that and let me know ASAP. That's ASAP. But I'm not going to really talk too much more about ASAP um, because I reacted to it. And so you'll see how I really feel about it in the reaction. I really like the breakdowns of everything, um, like the, the sections of the song. Jay's rap, sing rap is really good. Um You'll see. Yeah, you'll see more in my reaction, though. So let's move on to the second song, which is So What? Um, to me, this song is very, very pop. It's a very pop song. It's a very cute song. Um, this song, from my interpretation, is all about releasing your thoughts and worries. So it's looking at everything that burdens you through in the day and just letting that go and then saying, so what? So what? I got a 20-page paper due to tomorrow <laughs> so what my oil light is on and i need to get an oil change like yesterday it's not that deep in their lyrics but just let it go so what so what i ate five cookies or, or a whole pack and maybe could lose two pounds so what right <laughs> very cute song we'll go on to the next one the next one on this list is going to be love full love full to me is very pop and it's very chill i found this song to almost have some twice qualities and it's not a shocker because the creator and producer behind stacy is is it pronounced black pill song I think that's how you pronounce it, but he's done a lot of work with Twice, and it only makes sense that some of their songs pick up and have some Twice qualities. I think that the fact that the girls say um, that they have like this screaming quality pays tribute to his style and what he's done with Twice, because we you know almost every song Twice goes Twice, right? And then let's see, Stacy. I mean, they go, Stacy girls, it's going down. But also in A side, they go, A side. And that kind of fits. I'm trying to think like, so bad. Did they have a moment in so bad? Other than the Stacy girls, I don't remember them having a moment in so bad. But like, you can hear the, the influence and the, the sound that he has contributed to, to make twice his sound, the twice sound, and how that bleeds into Stacy, right? Um, this song for me was all about being in love, but also not knowing how to truly pinpoint the feeling. So like you're, you're in love with somebody, but realizing that maybe you don't even know what love is or what this feeling is that you have for them. You just know that it's strong and that it's for them and that it's good, right? I think we all can relate to that. We know when we first start to understand romantic love and what that means, what society says it means, what our friends says it means, what TV says it means, and, and what we think it means versus what we decide it means we're, we're understanding those feelings and what they mean versus how they just feel and so yeah loveful. 
So anyway, going on, this one's quick. There's only technically only three new songs on here. Um, the last song here is actually a remix of So Bad. It's So Bad, the T-A-K remix. I don't know if that's supposed to be talk, take. I don't know. But um, So Bad, I did not react to. Initially, I was not going to get into this group. Um, and Jay got me into this group personally. Um, I talk about that in the reaction as well. But um, I love So Bad. Um, I'm not... I noticed that in this song, um, I, I have more notes about this song than the other songs. I noticed in this song that there is like a vocal filter. It's clear that they literally just took the vocal pieces from the girls in the original version of the song and just added a new instrumentation to that. Um, but on top of that, there's a vocal filter they've added. I don't really like the vocal filter. They could have kept it, but... It's what they went with artistically. Um, I will say that a lot of parts of this remix sound off in timing. So, so like, if you can hear me stomp, like if that was the timing, it's almost as if it's supposed to be with the time, but they kind of just do their own thing instead of being with it. You see what I mean? You see the difference from when I was talking with it and talking, just talking. Um, I found some of the parts of the instrumental to be that way. I did love the the instrumentation for the pre-chorus and the chorus. Um, that's wonderful. Um, if you don't know, which you should by this point, this is their debut song originally. Um, so Bad is about wanting someone ultimately so bad. Like, I can't take it. I know how I feel. I don't want to wait anymore. I just need you so bad. Okay, and we know how that feels, child, all right? But I love this song. I love the, again, I love the instrumentation for the pre-chorus and the chorus, and I also love the, the dance break breakdown. Um, yeah, I know they performed this um, maybe for a year-in show or a year-in award, so I do know I've had heard some of it before. Um, but yeah, moving on, let's go into Kai's Way. All right, so as we said, this is a short EP, just four songs, three new songs, and a remix. Um, but I still decided to go ahead and put it how I would like to order the track list. I did play with this a little bit. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to go with my usual way of sonic sounds or if I wanted to more focus on the songs themselves and what they mean. Um, I kind of played mixed and, and mingled in what they mean versus like how they sound um so i decided that because this is the ep i'm almost treating this like um how artists in the 90s used to do single albums like you would get the single and then you can get previews of songs that could be on the album or b-side tracks and so for me track number one is still going to be asap that's not going to change um and then following the high energy of asap oh well stopping like asap for me just felt it has the right energy versus the other songs is the perfect opener song so following that keeping up with the energy i decided to do the so bad remix i know that so bad ha has already been released on its own um but to me i don't think that it was where the ep should have ended and so i think it should be the second song to really push the the album forward following that um we get into love fool love fool for me has a good balance but it's not really an ender song and i think also, if you think about it with ASAP, it's like your better half is not there yet. You're telling them to get there ASAP, like get here. I'm waiting for you. Like I'm just waiting on, right? And then so bad, you see them and finally they're there, but it's not quite together yet. And you're like, I just, I just want you so bad, right? And then we get into love fool and it's like, I, I really have these actual feelings for you and I think it's love but I don't quite know what love is and so I can't pinpoint what that feeling is they're just good and they're towards you and from that because I didn't feel that so what fit in any of those themes I actually put it last I think that sonically it's a good song to end this four track EP um and then meaning wise it's a good song to end it with like hey you know what, maybe you, you don't, and to tie it in, like, maybe you don't know what those feelings are, 
to pinpoint and articulate, but why let them burden you? Just let them be and say, so what? Right? So that's my order. ASAP, then so bad, then loveful, and so what? Yeah. It's a lot of so's. But anyway, to my tops, um, ultimately, out of the entire EP, really, ASAP is my only favorite song. But if I had to choose a top three, it would be ASAP is number one. So bad is number two because I love so bad the original. And then So What, number three. Love Fool is a cute song. I just don't know that it's a song that I would revisit. And that's why it's not there. Um, there's only four, so we'll just say that Love Fool is in fourth place. <laughs> but most importantly, it's ASAP for me. And that's on period. But anyway, that is my review of the album. Um, as always, in the description is a link to a playlist with my order for this album definitely check it out listen to it tell me in the comments what your order would be how you think it should have been ordered tell me in the comments how you feel about asap tell me about how you feel about so what and love full we if you're here we love so bad there's no questions about it but did you like the remix let me know in the comments make sure you like this video if you like what i'm talking about and also subscribe join me join me okay subscribe you get to know when the next videos are click the bell so you can get alerts when the next video are but anyway i will see you in the next video um, whatever that's gonna be <laughs> but peace out guys see you later